So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my best of 2015 slash 2015 favourites video and I'm going to do makeup, kind of makeup hair and then I've got a couple of random things like songs, movies, all of the good stuff. So first of all I just want to say um, I hope you all had a great Christmas and New Year, I certainly did and I don't want to make this too long so just going to get into it before I start rambling about all sorts of things so yeah. So first up I want to give the award for my favourite brushes and that goes to the MUA face brushes in particular. I like the MUA brushes but the face ones I feel are the best. The eye ones are a little bit eh, not so special. I think that Real Techniques do better eye brushes um, and Sigma and stuff like that and crown brushes but their face brushes are pretty good and they're all really really affordable. So I have the blush brush which is just the standard blush brush which is actually quite nice. It's quite small and a bit more chiselled and that's the F6. I have the highlighter or F11 which is really really great size, it's like a giant E35 um, Sigma brush and it's just the best shape for doing highlights, not too big and it's just like nice and fluffy and picked up just the right amount of product and stuff I think. Um, then next I have the F16 uh, concealer brush which is really really great for blending out concealer under your eye, um, if you use a, like a liquidy concealer or even more of like a... Um, What's the word? A stick concealer. It's just really really good for blending out any kind of concealer and you can kind of like just take it and shape it more how you want it to and blend it really nicely as well and that again that's like a big some kind of a fluffy tapered like there's a MAC one isn't there? Is it 22 MAC? 222? Something? I don't know that might be completely wrong but yeah but overall my very 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 favourite brush is this one from MUA obviously it's the F12 and it's just giant tapered brush and I think this is the best multitasker brush ever. I bring this if I really want to bring absolutely the minimal minimal amount of stuff with me wherever I'm going. Um, you can use it for powder, blush, bronzer, as long as you just kind of give it a quick wipe on a tissue in between you're good to go. It's just the best brush ever. You can because it's quite fine on the top because it's chiselled I find that I can use it get a tiny bit of a contour you know a little bit of um, more accuracy for blusher and stuff um, but it's just generally a really great brush. One thing I don't like about them is the fact that they're black which they look clean but you just know that they're not because my white my white topped brushes remind me to clean them whereas these I look at them and I just think that like you can't see the dirt but I know it's it's obviously there so that's the only downfall but they're really cheap anyway so it's not really a big deal. Um, for a kind of I was going to do this in an order but now it's just kind of all a bit rambly so I'm going to go through kind of like bases now I guess why not? Um, so the only real primer that I've been loving this year, I mean there's a couple I've been loving but the one that I feel like I can really say I have used this all year and I have loved it all year is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I have really oily eyelids, eyeshadow doesn't stay and I still use a primer so I just don't even try and use it without a primer really and this is the best primer I've found. It's £15.50 which is a bit expensive but I've had this for a year and a half, maybe two years? It's, it's been, oh god I think it's more like two years, it's been a heck of a long time and I need to treat myself to a new one but that just shows you how long it lasts because I don't wear eyeshadow every day but I wear it probably at least once or twice a week so yeah really really love that one and yes it's expensive but I would say it's worth it if you have oily eyelids like me then you just need a good eye primer. So my favourite concealer has been the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I've had this again for quite a while but I don't use this a lot but when I use it it's just one of those products you can rely on and it's great. I wear it in the shade NW20 and um, again I think it's about £15 which I was quite surprised at when I went to buy it because you get a lot in here. Um, how much do you get? You get oh, you get 9 mil. that doesn't sound like a lot but for concealer I don't go through a lot of concealer and especially with one of these it's so full coverage and so long lasting you don't need a lot of it to get the same kind of finish and look as you would with another cheaper concealer, one from a brand that you don't rely on as much, what's the words I'm getting? One that isn't quite as full coverage and doesn't last as long um, and I know that I can wear this in any weather, any situation and it's pretty much waterproof I think. Like I've gone in the shower before with it on, come out and it's like still imperfect and I was like what? <laughs> How did that even happen? Um, so next up for face, we can go for face, oh no I've still got one, yeah this is still face, this is still face. Um, I have my BB cream of the year, this is actually the old bottle, I don't know where the new bottle has gone. It's the Maybelline Dream Pure BB cream, I raved about this all through the summer, I wore this pretty much every day to work in the summer um, and I worked in a busy 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 
beach cafe so I was constantly like sweating it was hot and um, this just held up pretty well it's pretty decent coverage you know if your skin's looking alright anyway you don't need too much coverage this is really great really really great and the matte finish just is great because there aren't very many BB creams when I first got this especially there weren't many with a matte finish so really appreciate that if you want to hear me rave about it more go watch my like June July favorites and all of that kind of a, a genre of video Next up, I have my favourite blusher of the year, which is from Clarins. I have raved about this all year long. It's been an... I think I just stopped mentioning it in favourites in the end because I just knew I was loving it still. It's this shade here, which is Soft Peach number no. 2. I have to check. It's, you know when you get something that you love so much, you just use it. You don't even think about it. Like, I've had this for... I've had this for probably a year and a half. I didn't buy it this summer, I bought it the summer before, so... And it looks like I've hardly used it at all. This is not a full size. This is only a sample size. Um, so if you see them, I know they did them in their Christmas sets, but it's just a great colour. It goes with every single thing. I'm not actually wearing it today. I'm wearing Coralista by Benefit, um, which I'm also liking, but I've only had it for like a week, so <laughs> I'm not going to go talk about it yet. But yeah, this is such a wonderful, wonderful blusher. If you can get your hands on this, it's expensive for the full size, but like I said, I've had this for a year and a half, and this is a sample size, and it looks hardly touched. Like, it's still all domed, and you can... It's, oh, it's just... It's just just look, it's just it's just wonderful. Another product from Clarence I have been loving is the lipstick. It's the what's it? It's the Rouge Acla Rouge Acla Eclat Eclat Eclat. I feel like it's Rouge Acla lipstick in number thirteen Wood Rose, and I have another mini of it. But I have like it's it's a mini size. I have two of these now because I got one for Christmas, um, and it's just the most beautiful beautiful color. This, again, is one of those colours I can wear with anything. The lipstick, full size, is about £19.50, but I just have a little one, and I will invest in the big one at some point. Um, I'm going to ask it for my birthday and hope that I get it, because it's just so, so gorgeous, and it's just it's a nice finish. It's not shimmer, shimmer. It's just, like, a nice moisturising lipstick, and the colour is just everyday, but still look glamorous. I feel like when I wear it, I look made up. I don't know how to describe it other than that. I feel like it makes me look like I've put so much more effort into what I'm like my makeup and stuff than I really have. Um, I don't know if there's any other lipsticks that can do that for you guys. If there is, tell me because I need them, clearly. Um, and there is another lipstick I want to mention, although I don't know where it is so I can't show you it, but it is my one and only MAC lipstick in the shade Shanghai Spice. That is my everyday, like, I can wear it with no makeup or with makeup. It's like my lips with better shade. Um, I've talked about it a lot in recent videos, it's like a peachy pinky colour, nudie peachy pink, that's the best way to describe it, and I don't rate the long lastingness but it's my perfect lip colour, so just make make of it what you will. I wish it was in a different formula, it's a cream sheen and I wish it was a long lasting matte one or something, I don't know, I just, it annoys me that it wears off a little bit but it's not really the end of the world, it's just, if I could change one thing that would be it. So next I have my favourite brow product, which again shouldn't be a surprise for you all, it is Benefit Gimme Brow, I've been using this forever and ever now, um, and I just love it, if you've got eyebrow, if you've got eyebrows, if you've kind of got big eyebrows, you, you know, they're kind of okay, they're just maybe a little bit unruly and you just kind of want to tame them, um, you don't feel like you need to fill them in or anything, get this, this is so great, it's expensive and I find I go through it quite quickly, but it's the best thing ever, this is all I ever use on my eyebrows, um, make of them what you will, if you like it, go buy it, if you don't, <laughs> I don't know, might not be for everyone, but it's got like, I think it has like little microfiber thingies in it, but it's a brow volumizing fiber gel, yeah, I have it in medium deep, and I just love, love it, love it. My brows, for me, they just look fine all the time, and that makes me happy, so. Next, I have three eyeliners from Stila, and it's generally like the formula rather than the shades, but I guess it is the shades because I like these shades anyway. It's the Sealer Smudge Sticks and I have three. I have it in the shade Tetra, which is like a purpley one, um, purpley blue, Ladyfish, which is like a golden purple. These these have all come in steel eyeshadow palettes, so I've not actually bought any of these. And the last one is in the shade Damsel, which is probably my favourite shade actually. It's like a browny black. Um, it's a really hard to describe shade other than saying browny black. Uh, it looks like it's black, but it's in fact brown. And um, these are just the best long lasting eyeshadow eyeliners on my eyes particularly. I find it really hard to 
wear eyeliner without worrying, you know, it's gonna transfer and smudge off my eyes and I've got an eyelash on my eye. Oh my word. Uh. I think I've recovered from the eyelash issue. So next up I have two eyeshadow palettes which I just could not live without these two. If I got rid of all my other eyeshadow palettes and just had these, I mean I wouldn't be happy but I'd, I'd, I'd survive. <laughs> um, this is the Naked Basics palette and this one is the Smashbox Full Exposure palettes. I feel like these are the kind of minis, this is the mini Full Exposure palette by the way. They're like, these are the minis of the like main palettes, like this is the mini Naked palette and this is the mini Full Exposure. Like, like I just love them. Um, I'll start off with the Naked Basics. This is just the perfect cool toned matte palette. It's got like, I, I did my eye makeup with it today. I did it with it today about seven hours ago so <laughs> we'll see how it's lasted. If it hasn't lasted well then that's saying something about this and um, this primer but I think it's lasted pretty well. So my favourite shades in this palette is Naked 2 which is just my perfect crease colour and I really love uh, these two here, Walk of Shame and Foxy, these two just kind of like plain matte ones. They're all matte here apart from this one here which is Venus and I don't use it that often but I did use it today so I guess and you get a nice matte black one as well on the end which is in the shade Crave and also you get a really decent sized mirror in this I just think it's really the perfect travel palette and with the full exposure palette you have again you actually have more shades with this one you have eight shades and you have a row of mattes and a row of shimmers I just want to give this palette a shout out I have dropped this on that many marble floors and tiled floors and you can see like half the shades have all popped out but it's still there they haven't completely shattered um but again these two together are just the perfect travel palettes because you can see like you've got everything you could need you've got some warmer toned colors and a row of shimmers in this one and then you've got your coolers and i mean you could probably just do with this one but i prefer this one just for like completely matte looks i find that these ones there's only really one kind of a matte look you can do because with this colour here it's just a little bit too cool for the rest of the warm tones but the shades are just all amazing and such a thin little palette. I've got the... So my camera just ran out of memory which means I need to hurry up because I've still got quite a lot left but yeah I've got the um, double double exposure something like that the like second one in the mini form now and um, I love it I got it. it was it was actually available on boots for a while I don't know if it still is but exciting i next have two mascaras but they're the same thing basically they're just the american version and the english version so they it is the max factor false lash effect or if you're in america it's the cover blast cover girl lash what is it lash blast volume um i have them both because neither of them are the right one actually this one is i suppose um i just want them i just love i i love the normal formula this is a waterproof one in black um i think this is a very black actually you don't get a very black in the uk we just have black um, I don't know why they do very black on a lot of American things and then black isn't black black like I don't know but um yeah I just love this it's the only mascara that makes my lashes look just 10 times more voluminous and still really natural and really fluttery and they don't look like they're caked in mascara I just really 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 love it and it's a bit expensive which is why when I went to America I bought three and brought them back with me because the covergirl one is like half the price I think it's like when you change it back to pounds it was like six pounds and these are like 12 so it's literally half price but um i really recommend this if you've got kind of like longer eyelashes anyway and you you just want a bit of volume and kind of <sighs> bit of that you know what i mean if you need it if you need this you know what i mean so next i have three nail varnishes i have i'll show you uh, this one here from Models Own is kind of just the whole range I really love. I've got like four different shades. It's the Hypergel Formula, for, Formula, Formula, <laughs> sounding right, Farmer. Um, I just love it because they're all so opaque and really, really glossy. The lasting power of pretty much any nail varnish isn't great on my nails because my nails just chip. But um, this formula is pretty pretty i've just been really put off on my phone it's really pretty and they have lots of really nice bright shades that are great for the summer so love this next i have this one from lottie london and it's for the shade this shade is insane it's like an orange red color and i just love it it's like my favorite color in a nail varnish and um it's just beautiful and it's very very individual and it's in the shade vibe you can get these in Superdrug now and they're about five pounds i think oh and this model's own one if you're interested is in the shade lilac lilac, lilac sheen 
I don't like the word lilac, why don't we just call it light purple? Lastly, I have one from Butter London and it's this beautiful deep red. This is my winter colour basically. I, I kind of, I guess this one was like my summer, this one was like my autumn and this one was my winter. I don't really remember what I was wearing back like at the beginning of the year. Um, but yeah, this one is in the shade Pillar Box Red and I just love it. It's my perfect red nail varnish I find. It looks great on my toes, great on my fingers. Um, and I got it in TK Maxx and it's just started to rain. So if you can hear the rain, then I'm really sorry. But in TK Maxx, it's a, TK Maxx is a really, really good place to look for Butter London and Ciarte and Illamasqua nail varnishes. They have like loads of really high end nail varnishes in at the moment. I don't know why, but really love that one. So the last thing I have in my little bucket is this Clean and Clear Advanced Spot Treatment Gel. If you suffer from bad spots, my skin started to come back and be naughty again. Um, you can't see I did heavily conceal today, I hope you can't see anyway. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really great spot treatment gel. It's about four pounds. I've had three of them now because I lost one. No, I think I had one and then it went a bit bad and old. Bought a new one to replace it. I think I threw away the new one instead of the old one. So yeah, I've got this one now. I, I, this is my third one. That's what I'm basically trying to get at. This is my third bottle and I love it. It's the only real spot treatment gel I feel like works. You put it on and it kind of stings a little bit and I feel like that's what I need in a spot gel. I need it to like tell me it's doing something. There is reactions taking place on my face and I really love it for that and I love it because it actually works. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a one-time wonder thing, it's, you know, you have to put it on morning and night for quite a while, like three days or so, and it will pass. I feel like it just reduces the redness of my spot and that's all I really want. I don't really mind them being there as long as they're not like big red volcanoes and they don't look gross, so yeah. Love that! Next I have a hair product that I have been loving, it is the Tresemme Heat Defence Spray. Um, I can't say I've tried lots of heat defence sprays, I think this is the only one I've ever tried, but it works, I've never had heat damage and I blow dry my hair like 9 times out of 10 when I wash it, so it clearly is pretty good and it lasts me pretty much like forever. i have about halfway through this bottle and I've probably had it for about a year or 8 months, something like that, so yeah. Love that. So my kind of random favourites, I have a favourite candle, which is this one from French Connection, which I've gone on so much about lately, but I just love it. It's the best candle ever. It smells so good. It smells like, I don't really know what it smells like, but it just smells really, really good. <sighs> it's only available around Christmas though, which is the most annoying thing. So I've just stocked up and if you see it on sale anywhere, pick it up because it's a really, really good candle. Another random favourite I have is my planner. This is from personal personalplanners.com. Is that what the website was? It says it here. Personal personal personalplanner.com. And I love this planner. It is the best planner I have ever had. You completely personalise it. Um, so I like decided I wanted this layout and you can get like loads of little to-do lists and stuff along the bottom and um, it's just so 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 great. You can put in all of your important dates and things. Um, and if you guys want 10% off, you have like a, there's a code in here, it's like your renewal voucher and then your friend's renewal voucher. Um, that's a really, really long code. I'm going to like zoom in and show you it now so you can screenshot. Okay, change plan, not doing that because that just, I couldn't get it to focus. Um, so yeah, my other random favourites. I don't have a favourite film, even though I said I was going to do a favourite film. I've just loved loads of films so this year. I've loved The Martian. I've loved Mocking Jay Part 2, they're the only ones I can think of because they're the only ones I've seen recently. <laughs> oh, Paddington Bear! Did I see that this year? Yeah, that was such a good film, so cute. Um, Favourite songs I have really loved this year include, and I've just got lipstick on me somewhere, there's a smudge, um, Sweater Weather by The Neighbourhood. I've written like abbreviations expecting myself to remember what they mean. Homesick by Catfish and the Bottleman, Lana Del Rey, Ellie Goulding. All of those good stuff. <laughs> I just changed my memory card and I don't know what's happened to the lighting. It looks completely different to me. Might be the same. I don't know. Um, so yeah, random favourites. Continuing. I have also been really, really loving calamari as my favourite food. That is my favourite food of the year. I've eaten way too much calamari. Um, what else have I also been loving? Ooh, favourite food from like a restaurant would probably be the stuffed pasta from Prezzo. The what is it called? The like chicken and um, it's like a chicken ham pea leek one. Oh my god, that was so so good. Um, 
My favourite place I have been to this year has been Iceland. It was just such a magical, magical place. I went back in March and I had the best of fun. I actually went with my school, but it was just so much fun because it was like all my friends went and we were just, we just had so much fun and I loved every second of it. And even though we got like snowstormed out of Reykjavik where we were staying, we had to stay in like a random hotel overnight. It was still so much fun. And um, yeah. I just had a great a great time. I also went to Florida and that was really, really great, but for kind of different things. That was like a theme park holiday, whereas this um, Iceland was like going and looking at all the ge geology stuff. And um, so I added a random category on now. My favorite Lush bath bomb has been uh, either Fizz Banger or Golden Wanda, both really great bath bombs. Love them a lot. And that's kind of it. I'm trying to look around. Oh, my favorite app. I have a favorite app. It is SimCity. I played this like crazy at the beginning of the year. And then I kind of went off it and, well, actually my phone kind of got broken and now I've got a new phone. And so playing SimCity again is just like, it's just my life. I absolutely love it. Um, I wish there was a way you could like share your name on, of the city and like connect with people because I'd love to do that, but you can't. You have to be like friends with them on Facebook or like something to a Google Play and I don't have a clue what Google Play is about. But um, let's just see if I can show you it. I'm my pl yeah it's like my city it's nothing it's nothing special but it, it's it's like that and um it's named Tasha Town if you're interested and yeah so that would be all of my favorites from this year I didn't actually do one last year I thought I had but I hadn't um let's hope it's sub 20 minutes thumbs up for hopefulness <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video I'm gonna be taking like a little mini break now because I've got like a lot of school work on and stuff at the moment although I've got a couple of videos pre-filmed which I might upload in between and I've got loads of reviews of things coming up soon and I've got a haul so I'm basically not gonna be able to take a break because I've got so many videos I want to do but I won't be doing like two a week and there won't be any vlogs for a while but it's my birthday at the end of the month so um 18th birthday so I will definitely do a vlog or something over that like couple of days that I uh, for my birthday uh, I've got a sore throat again now <laughs> but yeah anyway I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>